What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back in for the reaction and today's a great, wonderful, amazing day because it's a Sweden and Finland day. Sweden versus Finland country comparison. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. Finland and Sweden share a long history, similar legal systems, and an economic and social model. Both Finland and Sweden joined the European Union together in 1995. Relationships are maintained at the highest political level on the Do you know, I didn't know it was 1995. Long, that was quite... You've been in the European Union for a while. Let's not talk about that because, you know, the UK, we decided to leave, didn't we? We decided to leave. Regular basis and interactions between public authorities and civil society are very strong. This is another episode of Country Comparison. Sweden versus Finland. Okay. So you guys call yourself the Kingdom of Sweden. And that's obviously must be because you have a monarchy, right? You have a king and you have a queen. So that's why you're the kingdom of Sweden. And Finland, you guys don't have a royal family, which is pretty good. Um, so you're the Republic of Finland. Actually, no, I don't mind. I really, I appreciate monarchies because it's got, it's just a very amazing tradition, right? Um, let's not, I'm not going to go into the what's right and what's wrong, whether people that are, you know, have a lot of money should be and have a lot of wealth should be looked up to and seen as a king and a queen. Is anyone above anyone else? Not really. They shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, it's a difficult one. I don't know. I don't know really how to debate this subject with anyone like on one hand, it's really good because I love tradition and I love just the pageantry of it all and, like, having a royal family. But then on the other hand, should we have a royal family in, t in today's climate and the way things are? Maybe not. Okay, wait. By the way, I love these types of videos. Like, I watch these types of videos even when I'm not on YouTube. <laughs> I watch a lot of comparisons and charts and stuff. I'm weird like that. Um, so, area, 450,295 kilometers squared. Uh, so, you're, you've got a bigger land mass than Finland. Interesting. Um... 91.7% land, 90.3% land, 9% 9.7% water, 8.3% water. So there's more water, or maybe more coastline in Finland. Is that what that means? Or maybe more lakes? I don't know. Population. Wow. You nearly have Double the population of Finland, Sweden. Um, 10.2 million to 5.5 million. Median age 41.1 in Sweden. But in Finland, the median age is 43.1. So very close, but a bit different. Um, I think there can be... I think there is a correlation between smaller populations with more land and um, larger populations with less land and median age. Do you know what I mean? I feel like if you, if you have a smaller population, you can look after your people more. And I think the air's better and probably the land is better. And just people are happier when you're in larger spaces and there's a lot more greenery. I don't know. That's just in my head. That's why I'm like, maybe that's where that, why Finns live a bit longer. Or oh, oh, Finns are a bit older in the population. I don't know. Because median age doesn't mean that you live longer. It just means that the mid median age is 43.1. That means there's more elderly people in your population. Government. 
unitary parliamentary and republic and the constitutional monarchy. So basically, very, very similar. Very, very, very similar. Practically the same in terms of structure. It's just that Sweden has a constitutional monarchy, just like Britain, meaning that some technicalities, you know, the monarchy has certain privileges and certain power but it's pseudo power it's not real power because it will just be overturned by parliament like it's just not it's yeah it's just a formality rather than an actual real power it's not actual real power so the pretty much the same there we go oh i was completely wrong because I was like, a life expectancy. No, it says you guys live a year longer than Finns. Interesting. There's nothing really in that. It's so close by one year. It's so close that it doesn't... There's, do you know what I mean? That's, that's a margin of error. You practically have the same quality of life. and life. Sorry, life expectancy, not quality of life. Unemployment, 8.2% in, in Sweden, but only 7.7% in Finland. Crime. Ooh. Um, now, that is a difference. <laughs> Guys, 48 on the crime index. Crime index 27.59. So Sweden has quite a bit more crime than Finland. Interesting. But there's more people, so... More people, more bodies, less space, more friction. Okay, GDP. So, yeah, uh, Sweden has more than double the GDP. Per capita, though, in terms of money, spending power, right? Is that right? Per capita would mean spending power. $50,000 versus $56,000. $833 per capita. So, yeah, because you have a smaller population, actually... Is that what that means, per capita? I think that means, like, individual spending power, right? Like, if you were dividing it amongst... This could be wrong. I'm just... I'm guessing, guys. Let me know in the comment section if I'm absolutely incorrect. I don't really know much about economics. But I think per capita means per person. Like, per capita? It's like per person? No? I don't know. Spending-wise, everyone has... If you divided the population... If you divided the money by the population... Um, you would get 56,000 in terms of per person spending power. I'm just guessing. Let me know. I'm terrible at maths. <laughs> so that would mean that Finland has more spending power than Sweden. Okay, military area. What does area mean? Military and area. Swedish Armed Forces, Finnish Defence Forces. Ranked 25th. Is that in the world? Uh, rank 53. 24,000 active personnel. 23,000 active personnel. 8.6 billion in budget. 6.3 billion in budget. However... Finland has a much smaller population, so that's pretty good on Finland's part. And to be fair, you guys would be allies in any conflict that happened in that region anyway, so you're all good. Military strength. Military strength, land power 3,560, 3,200, quite comparative. Air power, exactly the same. Naval power, a little bit more on the Swedish side. Quite comparative. In terms of population, Finland's pretty good when it comes to military. Top allies. Interesting, interesting. Huh. 
So Sweden's top allies as is Denmark, Estonia, Finland, of course, Norway, and the United Kingdom. Whereas Finland's allies is Sweden, Norway, Denmark, of course, and Iceland and France. I wonder why it's different. So obviously Sweden, you guys love the Brits. We are your allies. Hello. Um, but Finland loves the French and they're the allies in Europe and Iceland. Hmm. And Sweden has Estonia. Hmm. Literacy Ray. I wouldn't have thought that it would be any, any other way. Like, most people can read and write, which is great. Famous landmark, the Royal Palace, Stockholm, Sweden. Sumlina. Lina. Sumlina. Fortress in Helsinki, Finland. I probably pronounced it completely wrong, but nice. I would love to visit both. Tallest sky toilet. I can't speak today. Tallest skyscraper, turning torso, turning torso. I love that. Like if you turned your torso, <laughs> that's a cool name. Six hundred and twenty feet, twenty-three feet, fifty-four floors. That's actually quite a small building. Like in the sense of like, I think the UK has a lot of a lot more tall skyscrapers. Uh, but I think Sweden, I think Sweden and Finland, you're both very, your countries are very flat, whereas in Britain, we have really tall buildings in most our cities, and especially London. We have a whole skyline. Tallest skyscraper, May Mayaka, Mayaka, height 440 feet, floors 35. I mean, 35 and 54 floors, that's not a lot, really, but pretty tall. Exports, exports, that's important. You're number 25 when it comes to export. What do you guys export? Let me know what you export. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, 245 billion US dollars. Whereas Finland exports $98 billion. I actually don't know what Finland, what do you guys export as well? Let me know in the comment section. Would like to know. Ah, well, you don't have to let me know now. <laughs> Top exported products, cars. Okay, Volvo, right? 11.1 .1 billion US dollars. Top exports product, machinery. Ah, did not know. Top imported products. <laughs> Interesting. Your top exported products are cars. Your top imported products are cars. Is that because you've exported all your cars, so then you need to import cars? <laughs> doesn't, that de doesn't that defeat the purpose of exporting them? Anyways, uh, top imported product, crude petroleum. Oh, crude petroleum, oil, 3.5 billion. See, I understand that, but like, your top imported products is the same as your... Sweden, let me know in the comment section why that's the case. Production, electricity. So you both don't, you don't produce coal, but electricity you produce. And Sweden produces 170,000 is it gigawatts of energy and Finland 70 excuse me 70,000 production gold 
you know what? I never knew you guys had gold. 8.2 metric tons and you guys do 13... 13.5 metric tons. Is it just gold all... Is, I feel like there's gold in every country. All around the earth, there's gold everywhere. I just feel like you just need the tools to dig it out, but there's gold everywhere. Interesting. And you guys, oil. You produce oil. A lot of oil. Finland. Top religion. Christianity. 61% in Sweden, 69% in Finland. No religion, 36%. That might be the highest in Europe. And 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 comparatively, Finland also 29%. That that's they're both very very high. Wow. Wow. I don't know what is in. The, I think if if it, in the UK it would be like fifteen, maybe ten, fifteen percent. Um, there are a lot of people that say they're Christian, but they don't go to church. But they would still say they're Christian because they were christened when they were born, and maybe their grandparents may have t- you know brought them to church when they were kids. So then they still claim that they're Christian. Um, but we are definitely quite similar when it comes to the amount of people that are Christian, or I'm sorry, non-religious. Um, Islam, 3% in Sweden and 1% in Chris, in Christ, in Finland. I can believe that because I know there's a lot of people in Sweden, especially from, is it is it like the Arab nations and Turkey and places like that? A lot of Turkish people who tend, a lot of them tend to be Muslim. So that would make sense. Yellow food. Kotbula. 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 Salmon suit. Lokieto. Lok- I've just butchered both those pronunciations. But I know both dishes. <laughs> one is meatballs. One is salmon soup. Do you know what? I've tried meatballs. I've tried them. I will put the picture. I showed my Patreon members first, so you guys are seeing it now. I tried the meatballs in Ikea, and they were delicious. I really enjoyed it. But the salmon soup I have yet to have, and I'm so excited to have. That soup looks so good with the big, chunky pieces of salmon and, like, potato, and it's creamy. Oh, it looks so heartwarming and nice. Can't wait to try it. National animal, the Eurasian elk population, 350,000 to 400,000. I'm guessing you eat those. They look like edible animals. Elk. Sorry if you're a vegan. But I mean, like, they look like edible animals. Uh, national Brown bear, you have bears. Finland. I'm not sure if I'm going to visit. If you have bears. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You've got about 1,500 to 2,000 bears. Fair enough. Nice. Football. Interesting. Top sport in Sweden is football. Top sport in Finland is ice hockey. I thought you'd be the same. Um, I thought you both have, would have ice hockey. No wonder the Swedes say that we're the greatest ally. <laughs> football. We have football in common. Interesting. Sweden also likes ice hockey, though, no? I would have thought it would be number one. Olympic medals. Gold. You have 213 gold Olympic medals, Sweden. Damn. Done very well. Wow. 227 silver. And 239 bronze medals in the Olympics. <laughs> ranked number eight. Wow. Incredible. I wonder if you're ranked higher than us. Uh, Olympic medals uh, for Finland. Also really, really good. 146 gold medals. 150 silver. And 184 for a population of 5 mil. 5 million? 
Obviously both exceed when it comes to sports. Currency. I know this, Swedish krona and the euro. Yeah, it's interesting that Sweden, why did you guys keep your um, currency? Let me know. I mean, I'm asking. I mean, we kept ours, the Great British Pound. Um, it must be for similar reasons, but let me know in the comment section if you know why Sweden, you know, decided not to adopt the euro and, and stuck with the, the krona. Let me know. Richest man. Interesting. These are some interesting stats that they're throwing out there. Like, things I didn't think I'd want to know, but now I'm like, actually, yeah, I would like to know who the richest man is in, in Sweden and Finland. So, the richest man in Sweden is Stefan Pearson, and his net worth is an eye-watering. 21.2 billion! Guys... 21.2 billion. What, what would you do with that money? I Sometimes I just, like, I don't, I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, you know, um, rich people shouldn't have money or people shouldn't be billionaires. Because at the end of the day, if you worked hard to get that money, fair enough. Like, money accumulates and can pile up and there's compound interest and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. However... I hope he's doing some good work with that money. I hope he's not just hoarding that money. I hope he's also doing charity work and helping people. Because what's the point having 21.2 billion when we all leave this earth? We all leave this earth. That's too much money. It's just too much money. Like, even if he spent 1 billion, just 1, on, like, building schools or, like, helping people, helping children in impoverished nations. You could literally lift every child out of poverty in the third world with just one billion. So yeah, I don't know. And there's 45 millionaires. Decent amount, decent amount. Richest man in Finland, Antti Herlen. He's got 3.7 billion. Now, that is an unfathomable a lot of money. That's like ridiculous. However, 3.7 billion is more acceptable in the, in the sense of it's ridiculous. Nobody needs that much money. However, I can see that that's just a bit more acceptable in terms of like being rich. 21.2 billion is, just, is, is insane. It's insane. It doesn't make sense to me. It's just like, what? I can't even comprehend that much money. Um, but yeah, interesting. And you have six billionaires. That's not six billionaires. That's still a lot. And 45 billionaires in, in... That's ridiculous. When did we get to the point where people were billionaires? Damn. I mean, not to be back on the billionaire situation, but it's still here on the screen. Guys, if anyone's a billionaire out there and likes me, <laughs> I would not mind a donation. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not joking. I mean, if you did like me, you could. But I mean, that's just ridiculous. Imagine being a billionaire. I thought, like, it's, that's insane. Okay. Monthly income. Right, so this is like the average income in both countries. Uh, $2,768 after tax um, in Sweden. $2,563 after tax in... And this is after, after tax in Finland. That's a good wage. After, that's not even before tax. After what? After tax. Okay, you definitely have a higher monthly income than in the UK, for sure. Oh, 
Tourism. So 7.4 million every year into Sweden and comparatively 7 million in Finland every single year. That's pretty uh, comparative, really. Cool. Because I guess when people fly to Sweden for tourism, I'm guessing you do. Why wouldn't you go across the border to Finland and also see Finland? I'm guessing you guys must share a lot of tourists because you have a massive border. Internet users. Okay, internet users. 9.8 million in Sweden, damn, and 4.8 million in Finland. That's 95.8% of the population in Sweden, so basically everybody uses the internet. That's incredible. And 87.5%, 87 which is also a huge amount. Do you know what's really interesting? I re oh, this is showing my age. I remember when the internet started to take off you know, started to be adopted by households when I was really, really young, when I was a really little kid. I was young. I'm not that old. Um, I remember. And if you would have told me, I mean, I was too young to, like, comprehend this, but if you would have told me back then that internet would be as, as important as having, I don't know, heating in your house or water in your house almost i'll be like what but look where internet has come from and where it is now look where internet is right now we wouldn't be connecting and i wouldn't be speaking to you through through the interwebs <laughs> without the internet so it's it's absolutely amazing what the internet has done for for the global economy for the, for people like, our financial institutions is on the internet. Like, it's just... I think the whole world would shut down if we didn't have internet. It's, it's now a necessity. And, um, wow. What's next for technology? AI? Will that become... Will AI then become a necessity and we can't live without it? That's a scary thought. Uh, machines. And uh, artificial intelligence. Um, and VR. We can't live our lives without being in the v virtual reality. And okay, I'm going. I'm, I'm. I'm. And then in the virtual reality, we use crypto to 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 use payments and like you know where are we going, guys? Where are we going? I feel like there's it's going to be a virtual world some at some point. <laughs> um, scary. World Happiness. Interesting. World Happiness Index. 7.3 happiness for Sweden and 7.8 happiness for Finland, which ranks 7th place for Sweden, which is... And that's insane. In, in the world. 7. In the world. Wow. You're very happy. But Finland... Finland, you're number one. <laughs> you're number one. And that's incredible. I, I, I also, I am curious to, I'm, I'm also a bit, how do they, how do they measure that? How do you measure happiness? You know, that's, it's, it's just a bit like, hmm. And I'm, imagine if you're a Finnish person and you're un unhappy or you're just not as happy as you could be. And then you read this, that you're number one in the world happiness. You, it's probably conflicting. You'd be like, wait a minute, I'm not that happy. Why are we number one in the happiness index? I should be happy living in Finland if that was the case. But I'm not. Yeah, I, I think you need, we need to be careful with, with like believing world happiness index. Because happiness is relative to the person as well. Like, hmm. But you're number one, which is a really, it's a positive thing to have under your name, Finland. And that will attract people to come to your country because why would you not want to go to the happiest place in, on earth? Was that it? 
that was fun. <laughs> I've learned a lot, of, you know, about Sweden and Finland in one video. A lot of information. And like I said, I do watch these videos, these types of videos, like in my spare time because I am a bit of a loser. Um, I normally, I watch the ones as well where they have like charts and the charts are like moving and like, okay, I'm not, I'm going to stop. Guys, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Until the next one, I will see you very soon.